Hey, Woodlands Church family, so good to see you. My name is Pastor Ryan. I'm one of Pastor Carrie and Chris's sons. It's such an honor to spend a few minutes with you in God's Word, to encourage you, to refresh you, and focus you back on what is most important, God's Word and light of eternity. Well, as we continue to go through the gift of one day, I want to encourage you because this book has been so good. The book is called The Gift of One Day. It's by my parents, Carrie and Chris Shook, and it's how to find hope when life gets hard. And it's based on the life of my nephew, Jude. Jude lived only a few hours on this earth, but the way that he lived his few hours made a huge impact. And so he really taught me, my family, so many families in our community on how to live each and every day and how each day has value, each day has purpose. And if we look at it the right way, it can truly impact our entire lives. And so it's such a good book. Really encourage you to get it. Get it from Amazon. Get it at one of the bookstores in your area. But we love this book. It's been such a huge impact. The lesson that speaks to me the most right now is lesson nine. It's this, chapter nine. Fear and faith can't occupy the same space. St. Augustine said this, Faith means believing what you don't yet see, and the reward of this faith is to see what you believe. Now, in this lesson, my mom talks about how when they initially started to do experimental treatments for Jude and for Kelly before he was born, uh, they had to go to the hospital, and they were in um, Cincinnati doing experimental treatments, and each and every day she had to decide, am I going to live out of fear, fear about what could happen to my family, fear about what could happen to my grandson, fear about what could happen to my mental health, my family's health, all the, everything that goes along with that, or am I going to live out of faith? And so it's always a choice. You always have the choice. Am I going to live out of fear today or out of faith today? Sometimes it's hour by hour. Am I going to live out of fear or faith? And the reality is that fear and faith cannot occupy the same space. They can both have a hold on your mind. They can both be influencing your mind, your heart, your spirit, but they're like oil and water. They don't mix together. And you have to decide today which one you're going to let into your heart, let into your soul. And my encouragement to you is this. In light of eternity, you have nothing to be afraid of. Paul always talked about how ultimately he said, I'm not afraid of death. I'm concerned about what my legacy will, will mean. I'm concerned about the way that I'm living my life, but I'm not worried about death. I want to reflect Christ. And I know that this life is short. Eternity is long. And so that is the encouragement I have for you is that no matter what you're going through, maybe you have a, a message that's come through or a diagnosis or a conversation that just happened and it's causing you to really doubt things. It's causing you to have huge anxieties, large fears, doubts about the future. I want to encourage you and let you know no matter what it is you go through today, it is temporary. It is not going to last into eternity. This side of eternity, you will not be worried about what it is you're worried about today. And so my encouragement to you is to do this. Focus on Christ, his promises in your life, that he has plans to prosper you, plans to give you a hope in a future, that he doesn't want to harm you. He wants to see you grow. He wants to see you to grow closer to him and to grow spiritually. And he cares deeply about you and your family. He's not going to let you go through anything that you cannot get through with his help. He's always with you as a Christian. And then I want to encourage you also, as you continue to, to prepare your heart and your mind for today, I want you to read through Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. That is the classic scripture about the armor of God, the armor and the breastplate of righteousness, the sword, all, the belt, all the things that are going to prepare you mentally, physically, spiritually for the battle that you have to go through every day to live out of faith. I want you to read through that, reflect on it, and pray about it. We love you. We're praying for you today. I want to remind you that you have a family that's here with you. We love seeing your comments in the chat. We love seeing your comments on Facebook. Thank you for commenting on this blog post on this devotional. Thanks for being engaged and part of this family. We really value you. We care about you. If we can be praying for you, let us know in the comments as well. I hope you have an awesome day and we'll continue the devotional tomorrow.